Hi, and welcome to another video from the Best of Cat series. This is a nice little question that you have based on time and work that you can just try out once by pausing the video and then we will have a look at one elegant solution that can reduce your effort by a big amount. So just have a look at it, try it out on your own and then we will discuss this question. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. In this question, there are two people and they are doing a certain job by splitting the work between them. So what happens is initially A works till half the job is done, then A and B work together for some bit and then what happens is B finishes the remaining 5% of the job. Now, what we can do in this case is we can observe very nicely as to what is happening between A and B, the dynamics that are going on between A and B. Now, we know that B needs 25% more time than A to finish that particular job. So, let's say for example, I'm just taking a random example here. Let's say for example, A does this particular job in 100 days. If A does this particular job in 100 days, then B will need 25% more time to do this job, meaning that B will do the same job in 125 days. That is the logic. The other way in which you can think about it is, right, whatever happens, whatever happens, B is taking 5 fourth of the amount of time that A is taking to finish this job. That is the thing that is meant by 25% more time. So whatever number of days A takes, B will take 5 fourth of these number of days. Now, the other interpretation of this is, this is happening because B is working at four-fifth of the efficiency of A. Very important thing to note here. Because both of them are doing the same amount of job, B is taking five-fourth of the amount of time. It means that B is working at four-fifth of his efficiency. If you are finding it difficult to understand this, you can just visualize a normal scenario, wherein let's say, for example, there are 20 units of work to be done. Right. Let's say, for example, that A does this piece of work in four days. B will do this piece of work in five days. So if you look at the amount of work that is done by A per day, it's going to be five units per day. And the amount of work done by B, then it's going to be four units per day. So now you can see that the efficiency of B or the amount of work that is being done by B every day is four fifth that of the amount of work done by A every day. That is a very important observation. We will use the same observation here. So now that we have figured out that B is working at an efficiency of four-fifth of that of A's efficiency, let's see what exactly happens here. Now what is happening here is A is covering 50% of the total work. Half of the job is being done by A independently. So A does the initial 50% of the work. Then A and B together do something. And then B does the remaining 5% of the job. So if A is doing 50% of the work standalone, B is doing 5% of the work standalone, what can we say about the amount of work done by A and B together in the middle phase? It will be the remaining 45% because overall if you look at the amount of work that is being done, it's 100% of the total work, the job gets completed. So what is happening here is A and B together are going to do 45% of the work in that interim period. Now to do this 45% of the work, A and B together work for 4 days. So if they are taking 4 days to finish 45%, some part of it will be done by A, some part of it will be done by B. Now coming back to our original thing that we had figured out. What was that? We had figured out that B's efficiency or B's rate of doing work is going to be equal to 4 by 5 times a's efficiency, that is what we were trying to say. Now, if B's efficiency is 4 by 5 times A's efficiency, what does it mean? Whenever A does, let's say, 5x units, whenever A does 5x units of work, B will end up doing 4x units of work in the same amount of time. Now, what has happened here is 45% has been done, has been done over 4 days, meaning A has worked for 4 days, B has worked for 4 days. Together, they have done 45%. Now, what can we deduce from this? For every 5 units that A does, B does 4 units. 
together they are doing nine units. So for every nine units of work that is done, can we say that B does four ninth of that? Right? Because four ninth of nine will be four units. The remaining five ninth is done by A. So we are saying that for every nine units of work that is done, A does five, B does four. Can I also say that for every nine percent of work that is done, A does five percent, B does four percent? Very easy way to think about things. Now, if B is doing 4% of the total work, right? when A is doing 5% of the total work, when 9% of the work is being done, what will happen when 45% of the work is being done? Out of these 45%, A would have done 5 ninth of the work as we discussed earlier. So, A would have done 25%, B would have done 20% because they are doing work in the same proportion. Now, what are we saying in this case? A is doing 25% of the work, B is doing 20% of the work, together they are doing it in 4 days. Can we say that B is doing 20% of the work in 4 days? Now, if B is doing 20% of the work in 4 days, the question specifically asks us how much time does B take to complete the job? Very easy question. 20% is being done by B alone in 4 days. How much time will B take to do 100%? Very easy. 4 into 5 that is 20 days and that is our answer. So option 4, 20 is going to be the answer to this question. So what did we do? Again to recap, we just try to figure out the efficiency of A and B. Also the values are given in such a nice manner that you will get that 45% and if you are able to get the remaining 45% and if you are able to tie it up with 25% of A and 20% by B in 4 days, your answer is going to be extremely easy to get. So if you are just observant when it comes to these kind of questions wherein you are breaking down work into smaller parts and individuals or teams are working together in these particular parts, you will be able to answer the question very easily without forming complicated equations. So that is one of the ways in which you can solve this, one of the easier ways in which you can solve this particular question. You can apply the same method, the same logic that we have used to a replica question that will be shown to you at the end of this video. Do solve that question and share your answer in the comment section below. If there is any doubt, query, something you haven't understood, something that you would wish to hear, you may feel free to put it in the comment section and we'll try our best to answer that particular thing. Happy learning.